Hey there folks, welcome back. It's Shirley, Handmade by Shirley. Um, I've come on with some gummy pan dies. Um, not the ones from the mystery bag, I will do some of them at some point. But I made this card earlier and I was very happy with it. I just think it's beautiful. And I made a, a bubble background for the back panel. So it looks like they're under the sea. And I just love all the little shells and the sea urchin. And it's just lovely. So I thought I'd come on, <coughs> excuse me, and make another one. It's slightly, slightly different this time. I have got the pieces of, um, this is the bubble um, painting I was doing this morning. I actually did it with some class ladies who come along to me on a Friday to do some card making and this is what we made so we put blue various colors of blue in with some silver but the silver didn't really really come out and we put in our fairy liquid and some water and bubble bubbled away with our straws and then made some really nice background patterns so i'm going to keep a few of these because we have used most of it they took away they got a whole a4 sheet and they could cover that with patterns and then take the excess away anyway that was mine so what I did there was I cut out a separate frame and put the separate frame on foam pads there but this time what I've done is I got the lovely um, die which is this one under the seat die but it only cuts into the card. So if you wanted, you could cut that into the center of a card and you'd have a nice little aperture, which I might do at some point later. So what I then found out that I needed to get a circle from my stash, which was just a little bit bigger and cut them both out together so that I then got this round the edge. I then got this border around the edge so that's what I did did that twice and I'm going to put them on top of each other and then I also cut out a back panel just to help reinforce this piece that I've chosen from my bubble painting with the same die that I used to make this cut out as a circle so I did that and then I cut another piece of linen just so that I can back that onto there and then I just cut all my shells, my fish um, and sea urchin out in linen card um, and I was going to dub double it but then I decided not to so that's what I used so it's just a really a case of popping it all together and then adding some extra bits if you want to so what I want to just first of all do is find out which way I would use it with my for my background. So I'm just going to look at it a bit and see. Oh, is that too pale? That's quite pale. So let's see. Will I do it this way? Yeah, I think that's quite nice. And then what I propose to do is to put the fish in kind of the middle, might put it slightly over, I mean there's a hundred and one things you could do with this, this is just my idea, I'll probably do something like that. So what I'm going to do first is glue this one to the back panel just to give it an extra bit of strength and rigidity. Um, I'm just checking this is the right glue because we were we had a lot of different glues going on. One was clogged and one wouldn't come out. And so this is probably the newest one and it will come out really, really quickly, which is good. So pop that onto there. Just give that, just gives that a wee bit more strength onto the, oh, there he is. Try and get it lined up. There we go. And then 
what I want to do is just go back over first before I before I pop this on. I'm going to do this. So double this up because this is cut from slightly thinner paper and it's just smooth card. It's not um, the linen one. So just going round gently, putting a wee drop on, not too much. Tiny drop on some of these wee bits as well, just to um, fix them a bit. I've probably got too much, it's going to squelch out, but just lay it on top and just manoeuvre it into place. So I'm just trying to keep these on. in the right place if possible. It just takes a wee bit of time to do that. Try and, and I don't suppose it matters because it could look like it's another um, kind of weed in the sea but Bring you down a bit so you can see a bit better. Well, I'm going to get my tweezers out just to do this, just to keep all the bits together. They'll come out. They are in there. I did find them again. I'd lost them again, then I found them again, then I lost them, and then I found them again. So just trying to get these bits to come together. There. Oh, my Seem to want to, need to push that up slightly. That's what it is. Come on, fiddly. It's a bit fiddly, but yeah, it is worth it actually when you manage to get them to stick together. Right, there's a bit of junk left there. Just find. Still not got that bit completely in together. There we go. There's still, still a wee bit of that there. Needs to come out. There we go. So, the next thing I want to do is I just want to wipe this glue away because I don't want glue on my project. And before I actually do that, I'm just going to stick that down with that just to make sure it's completely flat. That's better. And then I'm going to stick it on to here. And I think I will stick it on with some um, oh, sticky, um, what do you call them? Bone tape. I couldn't think of the word. Old pads. So I'm going to just cut these up the middle so it makes them thinner. So I need to turn it round on its back and I'll pop one just there bottom and I've got one here which I can chop up make it a bit smaller so just on the back of this um, like that and then I've chopped up here as well Get that back in a second. So just all the way round that circle. And that's 
bit fatter. No, that's too too wide. Oh, get off my finger. It's a bit too wide. I think that one's a bit wide. Wait a minute. Um, let's use these bits because they're a bit thinner. So that can go on there. This bit on here. And one more bit. Just here. Try and keep it. So try and keep it in. And then I'm just going to pop. I'm just going to leave it. I was going to pop some on these, but I think I'll just leave them as is. Right, and then just pop this off like that, making sure they're still all hidden. Um, so just pop this off the back. That one's off. That one's off. That's off. And then just find that place again. I want it to be looking. Um, I had a bit. I had a nice kind of bit there, didn't I? I'll have it here, and then just don't do that. <laughs> Stick that down onto that blue piece. Like that. There's a bit of glue there. And then the next thing to do is to um, just let's get rid of these messy bits. I'm just going to bring it up slightly. Um, the next thing to do is to pop the fish on. So what I did for the fish was um, when I did it in the class, I got some alcohol markers. And I just used a very light, the very light Arctic grey that I've got. And I just, what I did was, I just went round the fins, colouring them in, in this grey colour. And the tail area. Me. I think you'll have to come back down again. And then these two, I've got them fins as well. And then I just kind of went over the sort of wee, wee um, sort of embossed areas with the grey as well. And then did that with the eye, I think. And then all I did was I went over it with some milk of Stella as well. Shine it up a bit like that. Okay. And then I popped this into the middle. So I just popped them in with down with um, flat with white glue. White glue. Like that. And then I just popped them wherever I thought. In between the I could pop them at a slight angle this time to be straight so just in between there and then that would go on to there and then the shells I did try and color them but then I decided that mm, I'm not sure about that at all it doesn't didn't look nice so I ended up had I think I colored this one but I ended up cutting another one out and just um popping the white on top but you could colour them if you wanted if you did this um, I think I tried the apricot but I wasn't too happy with it because I just thought it was too um, much so what I did here so what I might do here this time is use the grey again and just go over some of the bits that are kind of embossed as well. Just some of the lines, just to give it an extra bit of colour. 
make it slightly different from the other one I've did. Just gives it a wee bit of colour. But I do love these dyes, they're so cute. They're lovely, they're really nice. Glad I chose these. I'm just, I'm just going to kind of round the embossed lines really to kind of give it a bit of colour and I'll just do the same. So just all these wee kind of embossed bit, embossed bits, embossed lines and little dots that are embossed is what I'm really going over. Anyway, I don't think I really need to do too much there. I could do that wee bit in the middle, which I'm doing. Um, like that. And then, as I say, I'll just put a bit of Wink of Stella on them as well. Just to, if I can get it to come out. Should just move this pen. So, yeah, there we go. Should come out. Quite thick. So that's one. Two. And I'm just going to pop a little bit on some of these. Didn't do that in the last one, but just make them very slightly different, which is pretty good to do if you want to. There we go. And now. I'm going to pop these on to the front of my card. I'm going to do it a tent fold this time, just for a change. Now I'm wondering if I'll put it more to the left hand side and I'll put the shells or I'll put it more to the right actually because the shells are on that other side and I've got some more double, uh, double sided foam pads it is. And I just want to, this sort of will bend very slightly. So I just want to, I think I've popped that too far to the edge, bring it back slightly. There we go. And I will just see where I'm. So I'll put that on there. This one can wait. First of all, I'll just put this down onto my card base. So the card base is five and a half by five and a half. The other one was five by five. This one's just slightly bigger. So I'll just when we decide, I've decided I'm gonna pop it here on this side here like that. There we go. Still that link of Stella there actually. <laughs> so that's that. And now I need some glue. So I've decided I'm going to put this one over here. So I've put a pad on this side because it's going to be slightly lower than the other part that I'm sticking it on to. So I'm just going to kind of like that and then this one also kind of bends as well it's got a bit of we can have a bit of let's see what would look nice or I could have them a bit more that, like that so I need a pad at the end of this one here and then I need some glue get this off. Come on. So I've got some glue at that end because this bit's going up higher. If you see 
you what I mean. There we go. And then this piece can just go in here. And I'll just put that on one pad with that in the middle. Fine. And then one more sentiment. So what I did the last time I wrote You Are My Rock and I have got another You Are My Rock which I think I'm just going to pop in as well which came from the Feel Good Factor quotes by Barbara Gray. I've had it for a while but I've got lots of them and what I thought I did the last time was I popped it onto a piece of the leftover so I glued it on just like that because these are double sided but it's always good just to kind of glue I think it on just so that it's definitely adhered to that. It's definitely stuck down and then all I did was just chop round it. Um, so I just went round it like that. So I had a little bit of a border all the way around. I'll chop it a bit more. I'll just cut it away from that so that's not in the way. So just chopping it a wee bit nearer. This little border. Same there. And then this bit. I don't want to cut all that off because it's quite nice. And it's uh, just another bit because it's a bit squint. There we go. And then I'm just going to think where will I put it? I could put it down here, which would look nice, or I could pop it up there. I think I'll go for this bit here. So then just sticking that on with some glue. I'm just placing that down where you want it to go. And then if you want a few little gems, you can add that to it. Um, pokey tool. I've got two big gems, I've just got a couple here and there, so one maybe there, one maybe there, and I don't know if I've got a smaller one that's quite big, this one, just put this one there, I think, there, and that's my card using the gummy pan. I don't know what it's called. I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> Using this dye and the um, fish and the shells. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching and let me know what you think of the card. And um, I'll also put it on Gummy Pan UK um, on Facebook. Um, I also put it on my own social media pages, Handmade by Shirley on Facebook and at Handmade underscore by underscore Shirley on Instagram. Um, and please let me know what you thought. If you've not subscribed, I'd be delighted if you could. And I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.